Larry Nasser, the disgraced former doctor convicted of sexually abusing young American Olympians, is in the hospital tonight after being attacked in federal prison. Let's bring in CNN's Brian Todd. He's joining us with more. Brian? Wolf, uh, Larry Nasser is now in stable condition following the attack yesterday. Tonight we have new details on the attack and on the targeting of Nasser, which has now occurred more than once in prison. Raise your right hand. One of the most notorious convicted abusers in American history viciously attacked in prison. Larry Nasser, former team doctor for USA Gymnastics, was stabbed 10 times, including multiple times in the neck and chest Sunday during an altercation with a fellow inmate at the Coleman Federal Penitentiary in Sumterville, Florida. That's according to sources familiar with the incident and the president of the local correction officers union who spoke to CNN. They could make weapons out of anything, out of metal object. They can find anywhere, and they've made into a homemade weapon, homemade knife. According to Jose Joe Rojas and the Bureau of Prisons, corrections officers on the scene were able to save Nasser's life. Rojas says Nasser is now in stable condition. Inmates who have committed sex crimes, rapes, uh, child molestation, they are usually targeted uh, by other inmates. Nasser is serving essentially life in prison on various assault and pornography charges. In 2018, he admitted to sexually assaulting athletes when he was with Michigan State University and the U.S. women's gymnastics team. According to court records, he victimized more than 330 girls and women. Olympic gold medalists Simone Biles, Ali Raisman, and Michaela Maroney were among the athletes Nasser admitted to assaulting. Maroney once testifying that Nasser molested her for hours in a Tokyo hotel when she was 15 years old. I was naked, completely alone, with him on top of me, molesting me for hours. At his sentencing hearing in 2018, more than 150 victims gave horrific accounts of their abuse at the hands of Nasser. He engaged in degrading and humiliating sex acts without my consent or permission. And Larry enjoyed it. Your kindness was simply a ploy to molest me every chance you got. I can't even put into words how much I hate you. CNN has reached out to the Coleman facility in Florida for more details on the Nasser attack we have not heard back. All right, let's turn now to someone who knows that prison well. Jose Joe Rojas is the local president of the union representing the employees at the penitentiary. Uh, Joe, good to have you on here. I, I understand you're the person who told CNN the number of times Nasser was stabbed in this attack. Do, do we know who carried out this attack? Right now, it's still in the investigation, and it'll come out probably within a day or two. How could something like this happen at a prison, an attack like this, and, and, and you work there, you know the circumstances. Are there opportunities for, for, for instance, one inmate to attack another? Uh, the problem with the, uh, with, the, with the Bureau in whole is the staffing crisis we've been having. Uh, like, for instance, about three weeks ago, we had an informational picket to let the, the, the community know about our staffing issues. We had over 145 vacancies within the complex, 44 alone at Penn 2. So that's how it can happen. When you don't have the, uh, the staffing, we don't have the support from central office, the administration, uh, things like this happen. When you have officers working uh, doubles, 16 hours, back to back to back, three days in a row, uh, yeah. it may see, see the weaknesses. It how about getting a weapon in like this, or is it possible someone could make their own? Uh, I, I've worked at the state and the federal prisons for over 30 years. Inmates are very, uh, very intelligent. They can make weapons out of anything. So it is not far-fetched that a metal object they can find anywhere and they've made into a homemade weapon, homemade knife. In your experience, what leads an inmate, if that's what this turns out to be, to attack Another one, does it tend to be personal grievances? I know there's something of a hierarchy in prison. Certain crimes are looked at worse than others, including uh, attacking children. Do you have a sense of what could have been behind this particular attack? I don't know the motive for this attack because where he was secured was a programming unit. And usually in the programming unit, those inmates are well behaved because they, they we give them good programs. So it could be a number of things. Like you said, it could have been based on his uh, criminal background. Mm. 
Well, Joe Rojas, uh, thanks for helping us uh, try to understand this uh, a bit better. We appreciate you taking the time. Thank you so much for the time.